little trouble, son? Yes, sir. Darn old wheel came loose. Well, it sure did. Well, there's no lock washers. I'll get a wrench out of the truck. She's friendly, son. Her name's Lassie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me have it. My name's Corey Stewart. I'm Johnny Conrad, Jr. Glad to know you, Johnny. There, that ought to hold for a while. I wouldn't go too fast until I get lock washers on both sides of that, though. Yes, sir. Thanks. You're welcome. Come on, Lassie. Bye, Johnny. Bye. good for the White House lawn, Zach. That's right. Well, now all we have to do is get that giant down in one piece, wrap it, and load it on a flat car to Washington. Then we can relax. You can relax. I have to go to Washington, remember? Some people have all the luck. How soon before you can make the cut? Mm, sometime tomorrow morning, I hope. Good. I'll get a railroad crew on standby. That's quite a sight, isn't it, Lassie? Ten four. What are they doing? We're cutting that tree. It's been chosen as the nation's Christmas tree for the annual pageant of peace ceremony at the White House. No, you can't. You can't cut down the meeting tree. Not Johnny. A lot of plans have already been made. Why is that tree so important to you? You wouldn't understand. Johnny, wait. Johnny!
Johnny? I'm okay. Where do you live? Just off Keller Peak Road. You go on up the truck. We'll take you home. My husband. Like father, like son. They were very close. We're very close? John's been serving overseas. Two weeks ago, he was reported missing in action. I'm sorry. Well, it, it's just the not knowing whether he's a prisoner, alive, or... I do appreciate you bringing Johnny home like this. He took a pretty bad spill. Luckily, he was just bruised a little. He'll be fine. Most of the hurt's inside. He called that spruce the meeting tree. Johnny and his father did a lot of hunting and fishing together up in that area. If they became separated, they'd meet at the tree. It was the tallest tree in the forest, Johnny said. They called it their meeting tree. We got a letter from my husband a few days after the telegram came from the Navy. It was, it was lighthearted and happy. John's letters always were. He promised Johnny he'd be home for Christmas and there'd be a lot more meetings at their tree. Mrs. Conrad, uh... Please, I understand that you have to do a job. Johnny's very young. He'll understand, too, in time. If I'd only known about this earlier. It's no one's fault. It's just that we've been living on nothing but hope these past few days. It just happened at a bad time. I don't want to raise any false hopes about that tree, but... I can talk to the forest supervisor. You mean there's a chance? Well, all the arrangements have been made for shipment, and it is a pretty extensive project. But I can explain the situation to him, and there's always a chance. I'll let you know the answer this afternoon. Thank you. And thanks again for bringing Johnny home. Oh, that was my pleasure. And tell him not to worry about that bike. I'll have it all fixed up just as good as new. Come on, Lassie. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Conrad. Goodbye. to explain something to you, if you'll listen. You're going to cut down the tree, aren't you? Yes. Yes, we are. That tree was chosen for a reason. Because it's the best and the most beautiful tree in the district. It has to be. You know why? No. Because it's going to grace the White House lawn. It's a symbol of peace and the meaning of Christmas. The president himself is going to light it. The ceremony will be viewed over Telstar by millions of people all over the world. You know, it's an honor to be able to give something of value to a nation that's given us all so much. I know that with you, it's a sacrifice. But then, give and sacrifice can mean much the same thing, can't they? Yes, sir. Sometimes it isn't easy. Sometimes, sometimes it takes a special kind of courage 
It's hard to explain. Do you understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. Johnny, some of the people from the district are going back to Washington for the lighting ceremonies. My supervisor and his wife had planned the trip, have all the reservations made. You know, it's uh, quite an honor to be invited. I suppose it is. Are you going? Yes. You can go along if you want to. You and your mother. You see, when I told the supervisor about you, and the meeting tree, and your dad, he offered to give up his own trip for you. What do you say? I don't know, Mr. Stewart. You've got time to think about it. But would you do me a favor? Yes, sir. Just think of what your dad would decide. Okay? Okay. You let me know? Yes, sir. Come on, girl. Dad would mind if they cut down the meeting tree? I think he'd be very proud that they'd chosen it, Johnny. Then, then we should go to Washington, shouldn't we? Johnny? I'm okay. Come on. You can ride down the mountain with us. Come on, Lassie.
That does it, Clark. You did a fine job, Zack. Not a single branch broken. Hey, you be sure and tell that to the president, will you? That's a promise. <laughs> We're all finished, Johnny. Your meeting tree will be more beautiful than you remember. All trimmed and decorated, ready for the president to light it. Yes, sir. I suppose. Just be a few moments, Johnny. Doesn't the tree look beautiful, son? Uh-huh. Wait till the president lights it. That's a sight that you'll never forget. people in the jungle a long way from here. I'm home for Christmas, like we planned. Oh. Yeah, the Navy tried to contact you, but you'd already left for Washington, and they rerouted my plane. They told me all about your trip and the reason for it. Christmas tree. That's our meeting tree, Johnny. It's pretty important now, isn't it? 